What is up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we have the first proper episode of Freelander and I must start this one by saying a massive, massive thank you for the fantastic response to that opening introduction episode. Uh, hopefully this is going to be a great series. And so some of you may have noticed a few small changes since the first episode. Uh, we've got the new Bahrain McLaren colours, uh, that orange rather than the Bahrain Merida red. Uh, you can see the orange ring around the rider's face as well, looking very nice indeed. And we've also jumped up to level 27. That's because I didn't realise the max level is actually 36. Uh, so it would have been perhaps a bit overpowered if we started at 21. Uh, so 27 hopefully is going to be more realistic. And so we're already into the middle of February as you can see um, and looking at the current rankings Barre McLaren 26th in Super Prestige, a horrific start to the season. I think we're the worst of all the World Tour teams uh, so we're going to have to produce the goods now with Mikel Lander. Also worth noting guys it's currently a storm outside my house so if you do hear any wind noise apologies for that. And so guys, Mikhail Lander will debut for Byron McLaren at the Volta Algarve. As you can see, a five day stage race. Uh, let's take a closer look at the stages right here. Stage one is a flat one from Albufeira to Lagos. Um, and then stage two is a mountain stage. Hopefully we'll really come into our own on this one. And then onwards to stage three, we do have an 18 kilometer time trial, which of course could hurt us in the GC. Stage four, another flat one for the sprinters. And then stage five is a punchy stage uh, and that could shake things up in the GC further. And so taking a closer look at our team for the race, of course Lander leads the team, uh, but we do have a very strong mountain squad helping us out today. We've got Valt Pools, we've got Peo Bilbao, Herman Pernsteiner amongst others. Uh, we've also got Ivan Garcia Cortina, who hopefully can pick up a stage win or two in the sprints. So here we go guys, we're about to kick off our career with Mikel Lander in Portugal, 187 kilometers to cover today, and it is that flat first stage of the race. Matteo Trentin, Jasper Philipsen and Hofstetter are the favourites on the day. Let's get into it. So guys, we're currently underway. As you can see, we've just started the first stage of Mikel Lander's career as a Bahrain rider. Let's take a quick look at the start list and see our GC rivals. You can see Vincenzo Nibali, Tade Pogacar, um, amongst others are probably the, our two biggest rivals. Uh, I think the GC is probably between these three riders right here. And taking a quick look at our role for the race, we are a free element slash sprint train. I hope we're actually not being relied upon to lead out Garcia Cortina here. Um, hopefully Bilbao and others will do that work for us. And I've also noticed Voot Pools is actually the leader at this point. Not quite sure about that, to be honest. Maybe this is a target for his season. Um, I, I will try and help him out, but if we're stronger, we're going to go for ourselves, of course. So guys, we're coming into the final 25k of the stage. I'm just sat on Voot Pool's wheel right here. Um, and you can see the breakaway have just over a minute now. This is going to come in for a sprint. So I was considering trying to get some of these bonus seconds at this intermediate sprint coming up. But I think the breakaway are going to hold on for the bulk of them. These two guys are just about going to hang on ahead of the fast chasing peloton now. So guys, we're now into the final 5k of the stage. This is going to come in for a mass sprint. I'm just wheel hopping at the moment. I think I'm on Trenton's wheel at the moment. He seems to have got away though. Maybe I can follow Hofstetter on this side of the road. He's going very quickly um, and it seems to have put us in a very good position at the moment. Into the final two kilometers, maybe follow Jasper Philipsen right now with Mikhail Lander. We're not going to challenge for the stage. We're just trying to finish in the front group. Who's going to take the stage win? Hofstetter versus Jasper Philipsen and Jasper Philipsen takes the win. Um, um, ahead of a few guys coming quickly in the end, we finish nicely in the top 10. So a very solid 10th place to start our career as a Bahrain rider. Um, a shame Garcia Cortina couldn't finish any stronger than 11th place behind us. Uh, let's get into stage two. So stage two is here guys and it is probably the queen stage of the race to be fair. We have a long final climb to conquer today and we do start the day as the favourite ahead of Tade Pogacar and Vincenzo Nibali. Pools is here as well along with Zachary in Formolo and a bunch of other pretty strong riders. Uh, we're aiming for the stage win today though. Let's get into it. So guys, we're now underway as you can see and we get a very nice plus two race day condition. Pools is on a zero. Uh, so even though they seem to think Pools is still the leader, I'm sure we're now the true leader of the team. 
So guys, we still have over 60K left in the stage. And as you see, the pace has been really high today. We've managed to retain most of our yellow very nicely, uh, but riders dropping out the peloton all the time and now just 80 riders left. So we're just approaching this intermediate sprint with 30K to go in the stage. I'm gonna ease up because I don't want to sprint with these guys. It looks like Philipson will take the points ahead of Aberastery. We're just gonna sit up in the peloton still. So guys, now 19k to go in this stage and it's CCC on the front actually working very, very hard for their leader Ilnor Zakarin. He must be feeling very good today. Maybe he is a contender for the GC. We're looking very good. We've got much more yellow left than Pools, our current leader. Uh, so we're in a very good position going into the final climb here. Here we go then guys, under 14k to go on the stage now. You can see guys working very hard on the front still for CCC. Rafa Vols is coming towards the front. Uh, I think he might be trying to pace as well. We're in a very, very nice position here. Just following Davide Formolo, Nibali is right behind us at the moment. Let's just check out his yellow and you can see we're doing much better than Vincenzo Nibali at this current point in the stage. Uh, you can see it's not quite as deep um, as it's going to be very soon on this climb. Uh, we may put in an attack in a few kilometers though. So here we go, seven and a half K to go guys in the stage. We are on this steep section now. I'm going to try and come towards the front with Mikhail Lander. It seems Zacharin is trying to attack. We're going to put in an attack as well. Over 10% steepness at the moment. You can see Nibli does try to react and follow us. He knows we are dangerous. It's a big, big attack by Mikhail Lander. Um, and you can see Nibali is the only man on our wheel at the moment. And it does seem Davide Formolo will bring us in. So let's rest up again. Uh, we'll try another attack very shortly, I think. So looking at Zacharin's yellow, uh, he's looking worse than Nibali and us. So we're in a very good position here. I'm going to put in another attack with Lando because I know we're feeling strong. We do need to try and drop these guys. Just 24 riders in the peloton. Let's try and keep pacing on 85. Pools is telling us what to do. He's not feeling it though. We're going to try and win this stage, but we're going to have to rest up, I think. Let's try and follow Nibley. He seems to be working very hard. Uh, let's try and stay with him here. Um, and you can see 13 riders on the front and just 3k to go in the stage. I'm going to put in another attack with Lander and no one can follow this time. It's a very, very strong attack. Let's go up to 90. Uh, if we look behind, you can see it is Vincenzo Nibley and a group of just five riders trying to chase us down with 1.5k to go. Um, I think we can pace on 90 to the line. Coming under the 1k to go banner, we've got 13 seconds on two riders. Who is it that follows us? It's Nibali and Zacharin. Um, and I think we're going to take the stage here. Mikhail Lander putting on a show. Let's sprint for the line. We're going to win the stage and we're going to take the leader's jersey. What a ride by Mikhail Lander. Nibali will be second. I think Zacharin will come in in third position. What a performance that was, guys, by Mikhail Lander today. He dropped everyone else in the GC battle. We knew we had to with the time trial coming up next. Uh, but Vincenzo Nibali, second place, just 12 seconds behind. Zacharin, 40 seconds. And everyone else was over a minute down. What a stage. And I think we're now leading every competition by the young riders, as you can see right here. So, guys, next up, we do have stage three, and it is the 18 kilometer long time trial. And this is the stage we have been dreading, of course, and perhaps the reason they put Pools as leader. Of course, Vincenzo Nibali, he is a strong time trialist, uh, along with Zacharin, Pogacar, and our other GC rivals. Uh, so we're gonna lose time today with Lander. Only 66 time trial. Um, it's just about how much really. And 12 seconds on Nibali. I don't think it's gonna be enough. I think he's gonna take the leader's jersey after today's stage. So guys, Vincenzo Nibali is about to get his TT underway 16 seconds down on Mikhail Lander. He knows he's probably the favourite to go into this yellow jersey after today's stage. And we don't get the best race day condition, to be fair. Um, I think that's a zero. Uh, you can see we get 67 time trial today and we are underway. Uh, let's see where we are at the first split. So just coming into the first split with Mikhail Lander, let's see how much we've lost to Nibali. You can see he's six seconds down at the moment and we are 34 seconds down. This is going to be a tough day, I can tell already. So here we go, guys. Just coming into the second split. Let's really push it up this very short hill. Nibley is now seven seconds down, um, as you can see. And we're now a minute down. This is really tough with 5k to go here. So into the final kilometer now, guys. You can see Nibley is fourth. Let's push it up to 99 with Lander. Use every bit of energy. And we lose one minute and 22 seconds. 
So Eduardo Affini wins the stage for Mitchelton Scott ahead of Roscoff and David Dela Cruz. Nibali was fourth, Pools was fifth to be fair and we are all the way down in 42nd position and that means in the GC Vincenzo Nibali into first position and we're down to third place tied on the same time as Zacharin 53 seconds down. Then we have Dela Cruz, Pools and Pogacar. And I think this stage just highlights how tough this is going to be uh, because obviously we are one of the best climbers as we proved in stage two. Uh, but the guys like Nibali and usually Pogachar, they'll be able to stay with us or close to us. And then they gain massive amount of times in these time trials. Although saying that we did meet our top 50 objective on the stage finishing 40 seconds. Um, we're just going to have to work on this time trialing if we can when we get a level up. So stage four is here guys and we are back to the flat stages for the sprinters. We'll see what Ivan Garcia Cortina can do but I think Philipson will again be the favourite today. Let's get into it. So Mikhail Lander on a minus three day today really feeling that time trial in the legs today uh, but as you can see we do get to wear this nice uh, red dark red uh, mountain jersey. So guys, we have 16K to go in the stage. Again, it's CCC setting a really fast pace on the front. They'll be going for Trenton today. Uh, the gap to the breakaway now under 30 seconds. Again, this is gonna come in for a mass sprint. So guys, we're coming into the final 5K of the stage. As you can see, uh, this Colombian fella, I think it's Butrago or Butago. It's spelled differently here and here. I'm not quite sure how to say this guy's name. Anyway, he's going to protect us into the line. Um, he's doing a very good job of that into the final 3K right now. Let's put him up to maybe 95 um, we don't really want to lead ourselves out because we're not going to challenge in the sprint, obviously. We can go up to 99 now, though. Maybe I can grab Jasper Philipson's wheel as he goes, as um, he does right here. Let's just sprint for the line. Try and see who takes the victory. Philipson in pole position at the moment, and he's going to take it with ease ahead of Trenton. Uh, Hofstetter was in third place. Um, I think we're going to come very nicely in sixth place here. Great sprint again by Mikhail Lander. So another solid stage today by Lander, finishing sixth in the sprint. Pools did very nicely as well. Not quite sure what Garcia Cortina is doing again outside the top 10. Onto the final stage we go. So guys, the final stage of the race is here. And as you can see, it's a very punchy stage with a steep ramp to the finish line. Formulo is the favourite on the day, uh, but there are some chances to attack Vincenzo Nibli. Obviously 53 seconds. It's a lot of time to make up. We're going to give it our best shot though. Let's get into it. So guys, we're underway for the final stage. You can see we've moved into this nice blue jersey from that red jersey. I think that was actually the points jersey. This is the climbing jersey. But you can see a plus one day to day. Maybe we do have a chance later in the stage. So guys, we're into the final 45k of the stage. As you can see, we're now entering this very steep climb. I'm hoping for a very fast pace. I'm actually going to set Rafael Vools up to 90 pacing on the front. If no one else is going to set that faster pace, we can even put him up to 92 very briefly because I want to put our other GC contenders and their domestiques in difficulty here if we can. Okay, 63 riders are all that remain in the peloton right here. I'm going to try and move up right towards the front um, with Peo Bilbao and anyone else who's willing to relay if they still can uh, because I'm going to try and set a rapid pace on the front now up this next climb. I may try a little attack even um, after this climb or on this climb. You can see how much energy we have. We're looking very, very good with Mikhail Lander. Let's try and take position now on 80 right towards the front. Pernsteiner and Bilbao on the front doing a really good job at the moment, Garcia Cortina has just delivered us some water as well. Uh, let's try and sit on Bilbao's wheel if we can, or Beerman's just staying right towards the front here. You can see these guys working really, really hard to put us in a good position. Um, hopefully, Pogachar and Nibali especially are really feeling the effects our team um, are putting in here. You can see Garcia Cortina doing really good work now on the front. Let's go up to 90, 92 just to stay with him. Um, and that's how fast we're going to have to go. Let's follow root pools um, and you can see really really good job by our teammates right here so over the top of the climb we go Garcia Cortina setting a rapid pace on the front I'm surprised that didn't uh, create more splits actually you can see 45 riders let's check on Vincenzo Nibali observe him he's looking pretty good to be fair not quite as good as us um, hopefully we can continue to put them in some difficulty 
So we're now coming downhill with 13k to go. We're approaching a very, very steep climb. I'm going to come right towards the front of the peloton with Mikhail Lander because I'm thinking of putting in an attack on this climb. Let's go up to 99. Try and attack away from the peloton if we can. Not sure if we're going to, uh, going to be able to, to be honest. We are creating some separation here. It's a strong attack by Mikhail Lander, as you can see. Trenton does try to follow, um, and these are the risks we need to take at this point. Let's try and pace on maybe 85. Um, Trenton is on our wheel. We don't have a massive gap on the rest of the group. Um, let's see if this pays off though. So you can see behind Vincenzo Nibali working very hard to bring us in. I think he's going to as well. And just 14 riders in that group behind. I think it's probably worth waiting up now. Uh, there you go. The yellow jersey has caught us and we're back in the group with our teammates. 16 riders are all that remain in this group. 6k to go now. So 6k to go and Vincenzo Nibali has counter-attacked and our teammates don't seem to be doing any work. We're going to have to attack up to Vincenzo Nibali here on this flat section. That's not ideal at all and we're not going to quite make it up to Vincenzo Nibali. That is far from ideal as we come into this final hill. Um, we can't quite catch him. Uh, there's Zeitz behind of Mitchton Scott. He's trying to come up as well um, and now into the final 3k it doesn't look like we're going to be able to challenge Nibley um, for the GC you can see um, he does have uh, less yellow than us so maybe we can try and catch him and overtake him on this climb Garcia Cortina does bring uh, root pools back up to our group uh, let's just follow root pools now um, he's going to put us in a good position I think we've got absolutely no red left at all into the final 1k of the stage Woot Pool's doing a very good job dragging us and himself into a very good position. We're going to have to try and sprint up to Nibley, Nibley now though if we can. I think Vincenzo Nibley is going to take the stage. We're going to have to settle for a place on the podium. Vincenzo Nibley takes the stage and the GC. We will finish second on the day ahead of Pools. Trent in fourth, a very strong result for him. Second best to Nibley in this one. So that was a really fun end to the race, guys. Second and third for the team with Landa and Pools. Vincenzo Nibali, it had to be him, the former man who we've replaced really at Bahrain, who beats us in our opening race. And you can see the final GC for the race. Nibali wins comfortably in the end, mainly due to that time trial. One minute and 16 clear of Landa. Pools was third, Zacher in fourth and Zeitz in fifth place. Uh, we were second in the points jersey again to Nibley, but we did win the mountain classification. So all in all, a very decent start to our career with Barre McLaren. This isn't one of our targets for the season, of course. We got 10th on the first stage, won the second stage in fine fashion, it must be said. Uh, then the time trial, which let us down massively, as we know. We then came sixth on stage four and then second place on the final stage. So you can see we do get some points towards level 28 right here. Um, we're not going to quite get there though in this episode. You can guarantee as soon as I get the opportunity, we're going to try and work on that time trial. So taking a quick look at Super Prestige after that race, we do move up to 17th position above at least a few World Tour teams, uh, recovering very slightly after that poor start by the team. And so guys, that's going to wrap up this first episode of Freelander. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we've got a great insight as to where we are as a rider, as we expected, really, really strong on the climbs, but our time trial letting us down at the moment. In the next episode, we will be riding Paris-Nice, a very big race, our biggest race of the season so far. And finally, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, do drop a like and a comment down below for me. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one.